how cold, how cold is it right now? <laughs> it's, it's pretty cold. cold. It's pretty cold. The wind doesn't help. No, the rain doesn't help. The rain and wind. Yeah. No, it's pretty. Your hands are cold. It's definitely January. Bye-bye. Hey guys, we're out here with uh, Jason from Bon Jovi and we're just dropping some prawn traps and we're hopefully gonna go for some winter Chinook. Uh, pretty nice day. Looked a little gross yesterday, but uh, we got some sunshine coming in behind us. So uh, hopefully start off with some prawns and uh, get into some nice winter Chinook here. Oh, that's not rough, but it'll be a little nastier. Today, we're, we're gonna be down about 200 feet, so there's just so much stretch. So, unlike it in the summer months when you get a bite at 40 feet and you're right there, quite often here, um, you've got a lot of distance to make up to actually get tight on the fish. So you have to reel quite a bit and you have to just focus on just getting tight on the fish because there's so much stretch. about 18 inches and on the skinny G again the, uh, the homeland skinny not the homeland the outfitter skinny G we've had six bites today and they've all been on the spoon so what we're doing here is um, for the last number of years there's this program called the avid anglers Pro program and it's a collection of recreational anglers in Georgia Strait that have been collecting samples from Primarily Chinook, but uh, also coho as well. So what we do is we get a sample from the tail, and that provides DNA um, evidence of the fish, and then it goes to the lab um, to get analyzed, and they can tell where the fish came from, so it helps for, for stock identification. I'm lucky. Yeah. Came over again. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Double, get it, get it. Perfect set, hit it. Perfect. Yeah, one. Year, just. So we moved a couple times, trying to change it up. We weren't seeing much bait, weren't seeing many things around, not much was happening. Uh, just came down here, uh, made probably one or two passes, and then Shane got a good bite on there, and then just as Jason was adjusting and pulling the bait up, he got a hit, and then we just got another one off the other side right about the same time too, so we had a double header. So at least there seems to be some bait around, and we're seeing some more fish kind of showing up. So. That's exciting. Double header was good. Hopefully, we get some good prawns. There's the other one there. Got uh, what? Three sets down? Yeah. Six traps. Yeah. Yeah, six traps. So, hopefully, we get some good prawns. Yeah. And you know, 
never jumped on it before, right? Pardon? You never jumped on it before. No, I jumped on it before, yeah. yeah. For sure, yeah. I'm the prawn yeah. virgin. You're a yeah. prawn virgin. Oh, there you go then. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no problem. Back from our fishing trip in Haosan with Bong Choi Fishing Charters today, it was pretty rough out there today, pretty windy, pretty typical winter day in the Pacific Northwest. Um, temperature was only about 3 or 4 degrees and it was raining at times, and plus I had a cold. We got into quite a few salmon, um, but all of them were undersized, unfortunately. But that's fishing, you know, you just never know what you're going to get. The highlight of the day was definitely the prawns that we picked up from the trap at the end of the day. Um, we got quite a few to share with all everyone and um, I picked out a few prawns behind me as you can see and that's what we're gonna cook up today um, there's quite a few different ways you can do it and they can all be really delicious my favorite way of eating prawns is actually just eat them raw um, just like sushi style if you go to the Japanese restaurant you can order raw prawns and uh, just dip it in soy sauce and wasabi it's so delicious um, but it's got to be really really fresh um, so usually on the first night when we come back like tonight um, we'll eat a few raw like that but once they be in the fridge overnight, um, you know, we we'll, we'll like to cook them different styles. You can boil them, which is very, very simple, you know, chuck them in the boiling water for a couple minutes and take them out and eat them like that. Or you can season them and pan fry, that's exactly what we're gonna do tonight. And um, it's very simple, the ingredients, what I have is just some chopped garlic and um, green onions. And we're gonna pan fry them together with um, butter and season with some salt. And it's ready to go. It doesn't take a few minutes. It's a quick, delicious snack. So let's show you guys how to do it. The next thing we're gonna put in are the um, chopped garlic and spring onion. That goes in like that. So after another minute, um, here comes the uh, the stars of the show. So we're gonna chuck in the spot prong, just like that. Prawns usually cook uh, pretty fast, um, just like fish and crab. You only need, really need a couple minutes in here. Um, if you let it cook too long, it's gonna dry out and that's not gonna be very good. A bit of water. this in a minute and now they're ready it's that fast it's literally five minutes and everything is cooked so just take a look at that it's it looks pretty good so there it is so the, that's the uh, spot prawn fresh from the ocean from this morning um, so one thing to note is I haven't peeled the um, peeled the prawns yet 
and you have to do that once once you, before you start eating obviously so I'm gonna do that first and show you guys me eating it let's give it a go hmm <laughs> really good um, Oh my god, it's really good. So, you can season um, these with salt and pepper if you want to. Um, I actually didn't do it, but just the natural taste um, with the garlic and butter, is, it's already, it's really good already. So, yeah, it's uh, speechless and it's really good. I need another one. Mmm. <laughs> No, you know why they're so expensive in the market during the uh, spot prone season, right? Um, but you can actually catch spot uh, you can actually catch spot prone uh, throughout the whole year, um, except during the closures. Um, recreationally, you can go out and set your traps and uh, get lots of prawns like that. If you don't have a boat, you can go out with charters like Bon Jovi fishing charters in Vancouver. Um, the trip's only about eight hours during the day. Um, so you drop the traps, as you can see in the video, um, go do some salmon fishing and come back at the end of the day and pick up the traps and, and hopefully there will be lots of prawns in there. I'm going to grab another one and eat it. So if you need more information, um, please go to their website, check it out. They do have a um, winter um, package special um, for, for your diehard um, winter fishermen. If you want to go out for salmon, crab and prawn what I call the seafood safari. So check out the website, and uh, if you have any other questions, um, please leave a comment on the bottom. I'm always happy to answer them. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel, please, and uh, there'll be many more videos to come in 2018. And until next time, good luck fishing. It took 30 seconds or less. <laughs>